Hi, this is Zach Mir, editor of Spread Bet Magazine, with a look at some of the precious metals for March the 17th, 2014, St. Patrick's Day. And I'm starting off with gold, where you can see there's been a decent progression here since the bear trap below $1,200 at the end of December, a break back above the grey 20 day moving average, then the 50 day shown in blue. And then finally, uh, for February, the key event really as far as the near-term price action which was the break above the 200-day moving average which is currently at uh, the $1,297 level. Uh, the progression overall since December within a relatively narrow trend channel we we're looking for a $1,380 target which has been achieved uh, relatively easily. Uh, I say easily on the basis that there's been no requirement for a retest of the 200-day moving average and uh, as you can see, most of the price action has been at or above the green 10-day moving average, now at $1,354. Uh, intraday dips towards the 10-day line were the opportunity to go long uh, for February and early March. And uh, since then, we've seen an acceleration, obviously, on the basis of the uh, geopolitical situation in Russia and uh, the Crimea. Uh, possibility of a mid-move uh, bull flag consolidation uh, towards $1,350, and then the second leg here coming up to maybe deliver another $100 or so on the upside. Uh, likelihood is that we've got a wide uh, December price channel now up to $1,470, and that will be the new target here while there's no break back below initial March, March support at $1,350. So really in the near term, you'd be looking towards any dips towards 1350 or the 10-day moving average 1354 uh, as a buy opportunity given that the RSI now is in the overbought territory at 72 but of course as we know on the biggest moves uh, in stocks and markets uh, the RSI becomes secondary to the, the to the positive momentum uh, in force and really we can be overbought for an extended period before any significant uh, breakdown may be seen uh, in the near term Moving on to gold, uh, sorry, silver, and uh, we've got this precious metal in a rather um, more sedate uh, type of price action. Uh, consolidation here, as you might have expected with gold, in the sense that there was the breakthrough the 200-day moving average at $20.88, uh, but then the, the double test uh, we've had at the 200-day line and then just below it in March. Uh, that should be a positive consolidation, uh, a bull flag ahead of the new leg to the upside, and we would expect silver to play catch up with gold uh, over the near term. It also helps that you've got an extended RSI uptrend line here uh, at the 50 level, the neutral 50 level, the current level for the RSI 56, which is a very viable zone. You'd be going long now towards uh, the 200-day line with a stop loss, say, below the 50-day moving average of $20.54 and targeting as high as the top of uh, last year's price channel at $24, possibly a bit more, over the next month or two. So uh, for those who missed uh, gold, it looks like there's an opportunity to go long of silver uh, as a, a sort of compensation uh, on that uh, on that trade. Finally, to finish off with uh, platinum, where it's a similar situation with, uh, with silver, uh, once again here we haven't had that sort of geopolitical uh, component. We've just had a sort of a natural, let's just say a natural improvement here. Uh, over the near term. Wide rising trend channel from uh, the middle of last year, from June, uh, with a target towards $1,600. Uh, really, you'd expect that to be hit once the current bull flag consolidation uh, around uh, $1,470 uh, is complete. Uh, stop loss in the near term, $1,453 at the 20 day moving average. Interestingly, also, we've got a golden cross buy signal between the blue 50-day and uh, black 200-day moving averages to uh, to back the buy argument. And uh, really, if, if you're not uh, you know, if you're not so keen on silver, but perhaps uh, platinum makes for uh, uh, an alternative uh, uh, selection here, given that uh, we can see probably more uh, rapid upside here than at the, uh, the in, in its uh, counterpart market. So platinum, an alternative to uh, silver sort of midway between uh, the technical position uh, of gold and silver uh, over the near term. That's it for me. See you again next time.